Okay, everybody. So, uh, it seems that there's been some problems with some learning of Celtics. Uh, that's the screenwriting program. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, take you through this. So, grab the um, start with the film um, heading there. Okay, so there are four basic things that we want to use. And from this drop down menu, there is scene heading, action character and dialogue okay so every scene starts with a scene heading all right it's either interior see how it pops up or exterior all right this um, this recording I'm making is just an addendum to what we have been doing uh, with the lesson apparently there's been some problems so I am making this recording to solve it for you <laughs> um, I don't typically do this, so let's have some fun. All right, so um, we need to break up our separate scenes by telling the audience in this first bar under scene heading three major things. The three major things are, first, are we inside or outside? Okay, the second one is a place. I'm going to put doghouse. Notice how it's capitalized. And the third thing is either night or day, okay, time of day, all right, so I'm going to put day. When I hit return or enter, um, it will automatically see how it goes right to action. This is the action slug, okay. This, um, this is the prose part of the, of the screenplay, of the document. Now, here's my thing. Just tell me what it looks like, okay. It never, it only, it only indicates what it looks like. So, here's my thing, is um, nobody ever wonders about some something, and it's always Johnny does something, okay? It always has to do with, um, uh, what's, here are the three things. Three things, okay? Yeah, it's a terrible typer, too. Okay, I hope you're having fun with this. <laughs> All right, so... The first thing is, tell me what it looks like. All right? Two, use present tense. All right? Use present tense. All right? Um, I forgot what the third thing is already. Um, oh, also, when you say a, a character's name... Do it in caps. Okay, so let me, uh, if I hit return, look, it's going to stay as an action slug. Okay, so watch. Do Johnny runs, right, because it's a present tense, so is, is running or runs, never past tense, never future tense or imperfect or whatever. Okay, Johnny runs over to the doghouse. All right, Susie, see how I did her name, okay, is a, a little girl who is super scared, okay, Susie's a little girl who's super scared, all right, Johnny, look, every time I do his name, every time I put his name in, I make it in caps, okay, see that, Johnny yells out, Johnny, is, Johnny yells out. Johnny yells out. Okay, now, if I hit return, if I just keep hitting return, what happens is um, it will stay on action. All right? What I want to do is, uh, I Johnny, look, Johnny yells out. So, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to choose character. All right? Uh, what should it say? Johnny. Now, see how that's in caps? That's the only thing that should be in caps. The name should be in caps. Nothing else should be in caps, guys. Hit return. Look, it automatically goes to dialogue. Hey, little, oops, let's see. Little Susie. Look, there's her name. Hey, little Susie. Get out of the dog house. Okay, right? Look. Now, if I hit return again, it will go back to character. I don't necessarily need to, you know, uh, 
to, you know, have Susie say something. If I do, look, I just type her name in, right? Susie, look, just spell it wrong every time. <laughs> okay, um, and Susie's like, no, I don't wanna. Now, you can totally, totally uh, use any kind of um, idiom or you know, colloquialism or different spelling for the way Americans talk. Uh, I heard a thing recently how um, there's a, such a significant difference between the American language now and the English language that um, we, we speak American. I mean, we don't speak English, we speak American. Um, so, you can do that, because this is, I mean, that's how people, that's how we talk now. I don't want to, alright? So, next... Every time I hit return, it's always going to go back to either character or dialogue when I'm in a dialogue sequence. But look, I want to make another action. Okay, Break up your parts with a other actions. Break up your stuff with other actions. So, Susie um, gets... Oops. Susie gets... Uh, totally... No, gets, um, gets mad. Jumps jumps out of the dog house and yeah and throws I don't know thro throws up <laughs> okay Susie jumps out of the dog Susie gets, Susie gets mad jumps out of the uh, yeah 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 jumps out of the dog house and throws up let's um let's do this she she umps she jumps out of the dog house and throws up okay now look that's my scene Okay, if I want to go again and I want to write more action, I can do that. Um, here's the, the screenwriting rule is um, no more than three lines. No more than three lines in this action slug. Okay, so we have uh, scene heading. That's that one. Okay, we have action, but this is just the thing that I wrote for you. Okay, character and dialogue. Now, I've seen some people doing this crap, and I don't, we don't want this. Oops, don't do that. Okay, don't do that either. Okay, this is Susie. This is a character. Okay, don't do this crap. Uh, parenthetical. Uh, you know, looks out in disgust. Okay, don't do this. Do not do this. This is not a play. Okay, this is a screenplay. We don't do that. Because we need, look, I need this information here, okay? So if she looks out in disgust, put it here. All right? See how this is starting to look like it's a format, right? I'm going to lose this so you can get a better idea of what this is looking like, baby. All right. So Susie looks out in disgust. Susie gets mad. She jumps out of the doghouse and throws it. It doesn't matter what it says, okay? Here's the, in, the important thing to understand is three lines here, okay? Three lines. Um, so, um, Johnny is real uh, is grossed out and runs after her with a broom, swatting madly. Susie. Look, but it's getting crazy. Susie is out of her mind. Now look, uh, I'm just writing crap. So look, see how there's like a fourth line here? We don't want that. The idea is if, if you're going to get there, just do this. Okay, I just hit return, make another thing. Okay, make another action slug. Okay, remember, do, I don't want you to use parenthetical, transition, shot or text okay don't use these just use these first four okay so um now say i dig that like that's my scene okay susie is out of her mind all right if i hit return again it's going to go to action all right what i want to do is do scene heading because <clears throat> i'm going to make another scene and uh this one is an exterior um um pool pool uh pool house Okay, so we're outside the pool house. All right, Johnny. Oops, Johnny. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so this is a way to breaking up your scenes. Now here's the thing: the reason why I want to do it just like this, other than the fact that this is the professional format, is the fact that look, 
See this sentence here? This is going to be a shot in the movie. We're going to see a shot of like the hole that the door of the doghouse, the hole in the doghouse. And we're going to see her face look out of that hole and we're going to register that she looks disgusted on it. Okay? So the idea of screenplay here is most importantly, it's all always about, always about um, uh, condensing the information and categorizing it and collecting it in a way that makes it um, um, understandable for everybody that reads the thing to know what we're doing. Okay? So the idea, again, is um, break this up into pieces. Okay? Well, look, she looks out and discuss, and then she gets mad. This would be a shot for me. I would feel like, okay, no, I'm in the doghouse now, and I see her, and she crosses her arms, and she gets super angry, okay? Then I see her jump out of the doghouse and throw up, all right? So the idea is each one of these sentences, all right, is a shot in your movie. Every time they talk, it's a sh like, right? It could be a, 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 any variety of different shots, okay? So um, now that we're there, that's what I expect. I want to look at a couple other things here. So here's script. If you go to typeset PDF, this is how I want you to save it. So look, um, we're going to talk about the uh, title page in a second. But look, that's what it looks like on the page. Okay, This is what it should look like when you do your show. Everybody that's turned theirs in looks like garbage. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so... Um, what we want to do, when, so we look at it, what it looks like on the page. Now over here, I can hit Save PDF. If I hit Save PDF, I can put it anywhere I want to, all right, and call it what I want to, all right? Um, scratch pad, this is a thing like, hey, I have a weird idea. I'm going to put it there. I don't know if it works or not, blah, blah, blah. I don't really use that. Index cards, give me a break, okay? But they, are, they can be helpful if you want to, you know, design your shots that way. All right, title page. Just do author. Okay, do title and author. So, Johnny, oh man, come on. Johnny is awesome, is the name of the thing. And this is Greg Lassar. So, I really hope that this helps you and is not a bummer. Um, please, please, okay, so when we go back here, um, I want you to create it as a PDF, all right? And I want you to attach the PDF to the critique zone. All right. Please make your uh, screenplay look like this. Okay. Um, if anybody after seeing this video has any questions, please, please, please let me know. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you guys like how I'm doing this, I can do more of this if you wanna. All right. Thank you. Uh, this is Greg Lassar signing off.